Welcome to the 20th annual Derby City Classic. We have made it to the final day. It's so exciting here on the Diamond Tin Ball Bigfoot Challenge. We started with one of the toughest fields in all of pools. 16 players, a $32,000 purse, and now we are down to just four. One of these next players will be facing off against the next winners of our next match in the championship tonight. Horseshoe Casino, Indiana. Are you excited for some amazing pool today? I have a feeling these players are going to give it to you, and we're going to find out who is going to be making it to the final. First up, he's the world nine ball and ten ball champion, two time U.S. Open champion, 2014 Hall of Fame inductee, shot a 900 AccuStat in his opening match victory, and then defeated Shane Van Boating last match. He endorses Mez Q and Kamui, the Iceman, Mika Eminen. The next champion is a two-time Philippine nine ball champion, runner-up pool champion, shot a 9.04 AccuStat in his first round victory, then defeated Joshua Filler last match, endorses Predator, and uh, sponsored by Jeffrey Chin and Kelly Isaac from the Republican Republic of the Philippines, the Superman, Roberto Gomez. <laughs> Handing things over to our referee, Mr. Ken Schumann. Thank you very much, Derek. All right, everybody. Good luck, Mika, Roberto. Please lag for the first brick. Semi-final match number one has Superman up against Iceman here on the 10-foot table. Mark Wilson and Danny Dilberto here, and we want to welcome you to our coverage of the 2018 Bigfoot Challenge. Danny, what are you expecting to see in this one? Well, I kind of favor Mika, not that I want him to win. It's just that if on a betting scale, I like Mika to win this. Gomez has surprised a few people. He beat some great players, so we can't count him out. He's got to be feeling good about having at least 4,000 in his bankroll. That'll get your wrist a little loose. Yeah, Gomez opened up the event by beating Ronnie Alcano, and he played a 904 TPA, which is remarkably good. Then he knocked out Joshua Filler, perhaps the straightest shooter in the event yesterday. What he brings to the table, a great attitude. Very cheerful, uh, happy-go-lucky. Certainly well-rounded. He breaks off his fingertips, which is just a bit unusual. The five and the seven, right behind the one ball. They're the ones that tend to go in the side. Neither one did. The one ball finds the way back to the far corner pocket. And the 210, and this is uh, not a call shot game, too, I might add. Might be a quick uh, first match here. It's really interesting. Our vantage point is about 20 feet above the table. We also have monitors here in the booth. On the monitor, the shot looks a little bit difficult. When I look down at the table, it looks makeable. It's not a gimme, folks, because the cue ball's on the cushion. That hurts your accuracy a little bit. It's not a gimme. Perfect start to the match now. Gomez, good break. Solid combination shot here to take a one game to zero lead. This is a race to 11. 10 ball does not win on the break. You cannot use a jump cue. All ball fouls. Single elimination. Am I forgetting anything, Danny? I don't think so. Uh, you mentioned just about everything. Which you always do, Mark. Whenever Try. I need help, I ask you for it. <laughs> Try to keep everyone abreast of exactly what's going on. The 10-foot table is really interesting. It's 50 square feet of playing surface as opposed to a 9-foot table, which is 40 and a half square feet. You might be inclined to say, well, that's only 20% larger. However, that's a lot. It, well, and it fails to recognize that that 20% is the hardest 20% because it's all longer it's shots. Really so. You then and works out to be about 30% more difficult. It's Mark Wilson's favorite event. It is. I love the 10-footer. Here's our first look at Mika's break. 
Six ball found the side pocket. One ball checks up in front of the corner. Four balls going to go in. Nice open layout now for Mika. Both players, just as a side note, got here by virtue of winning two matches. And in those two matches, each of them have broken ran six times. Gomez gets credit for one more, and Mika has a chance to get one more here. Yeah, he's going to try to go two rails to the middle of the table. S speed was not he ideal. He shot it a little. Now, it's still a makeable shot, but the scratch is on, and playing position is difficult because he went so far. Right, the speed to the three now could be trouble, but the three goes in a few pockets. But first, you got to make the two. Yeah, he recognizes, so he's going to have to elevate and stun this ball. Oh, good shot. Not if he brushes it. Not hideously bad. Didn't you know, Danny, when we watch Mika play, powerful shot maker, powerful stroke, he can draw the ball effortlessly. But many of his position routes are much more suspect by comparison You're to right. the top tacticians of the game. But he can just uh, overwhelm the table and just overpower it with shot making. From Finland, originally, lives in New York. I guess he's amphibious. He shoots left-handed also. He's also very fast. He wastes no time over the ball, which Danny always says that's what we like, and that's true. Going to play this with just a little bit of backspin. Drag the cue ball, take some pace out of it up by the side pocket. Nope, two cushions. Good shot. Mika keeps himself in the peak of fitness. Yeah, I like that about most of the European players, it is a sport, and you got to be in condition. People ask me, do you think pool is a sport? Well, it sure is, because if your legs aren't in shape, you could wobble a little. Furious pace to begin the match. Each player having got up from their break. Score is tied at one apiece. $8,000 goes to the winner of this match, plus a chance for 16 later tonight. Using the AccuRack. The one, two, and three are regulated to be on the corners. The rest of the balls are to be random other than the 10 in the middle and the one on the head. This particular case, the four and the six ball right behind the one. Superman up on his fingertips. Good break there. Six ball found the side pocket. Four ball also found the side pocket. That was the ideal speed then. One ball and the cue ball are in a nice place. Got a thin cut on this one ball, which means the cue ball is going to be very live. Where are you going? Good speed. Yeah, that was good control. Look for him to draw it to the same side of the table he's standing on, get over along the rail where the five's at. Good shot. Yeah, he seems to be executing very smoothly. Like Mark said, it's a foul on anything, so his sleeve can't touch a ball. Now 
Nothing to do here, but pocket the eight. Stop, stop, stop on the last three balls. That's a nice way to uh, end the rack. Two to one will be the score here as Gomez pockets his 10 with his second run out from the break. Gomez played outstanding on day one, beating Ronnie Alcano, who was playing well himself. Then yesterday, he knocked off Joshua Filler, the current Moscone Cup MVP and winner of the China Open, which is ostensibly a world title. 20 years old. All right, Mika has the rack set, prepared to start game number four. It's the four and eight behind the one ball. Mika breaking just to the right of the head spot. Cue ball got away. Miss hit the rack, and that's why uh, he didn't get, quite get the ball action that Roberto did. And therefore, he didn't pocket a ball. But he didn't leave an easy shot. Mika's called the ice man, but I'm not really sure why, because he's more temperamental and emotional than anybody <laughs> else in the field. Well, we had another ice man before, Larry Hubbard. And he was the ice man. He, yeah. he, he was stoic. What a oh, nice what a shot. Hit. What a hit. Beautiful. Yeah, Danny and I enjoyed that shot from With here. control. He fell into two pretty well. Now he's going to draw the ball, I believe, one rail to the three. And he's got the right angle not to go inside. Well, he was happy to just take a long shot. Yeah, and the four ball, I mean, I guess it's just a stop shot time. I don't think you can really try to work the cue ball closer unless he wants to try to follow. And go to the end well, rail and bounce down. He's got a little angle, so it's not exactly a stop shot. So if he draws it, the six ball could enter the game. Boy, what a nice hit. And you can see the object ball bounced up in the pocket. That's how uh, accurately he hit the center of the pocket and with what force. He made a great stroke there. Didn't think he would take on that much risk, but he did and did it perfectly. Two cushions. One of the many Filipino players that invaded our pool world. And I guess there's a whole bunch in the Philippines that could compete that can't afford to come here. Well, just to, you know, I mean, just as a testimonial to what you're saying, we only had 16 players in this event. Five of them were from Filipino descent. And they all play great. This is quite an opening statement here from uh, Roberto Gomez. Uh, this is just how Superman plays. Playing perfect. The balls have been cooperating, but he has not mismanaged any of these layouts. You haven't seen him struggle with position. He stayed on angle, and that makes the 5 by 10 play much more like a 45 by 9 It's when you get out of line that it hurts you. Three ones are score. Gomez will be breaking. Flawless pool thus far, early stages. And the winner of this match gets in the finals. Chance to win the 16,000. And have your picture on a banner forever. Jason Shaw has won the last two Big Ten tournaments here. 
He got the throne. He wasn't himself. Both players still shooting a thousand TPA through four racks. That's pretty strong. Won't see that very often. Four and five, right behind the one ball. Ten ball falls into the side, but that does not win. It only counts as a ball. And we spot it immediately, folks. Now, does he have a shot on the one in the corner? Yes, he does. I believe. Controlling it to the two, that's going to be something else. Well, I don't think he does because he's looking at something else. He's so. looking at the side. Yeah. That would be a much thinner hit, which means it's a lot tougher to control. He might have even been looking at the combination on the six. Nope. Oh, look at the control of the cue ball. Did he get away with it? No, he nope. did not. Well, I have to say that's a darn shame because he hit a good ball there. Had to go through a lot of traffic. And he could have easily come out with some type of a shot. Now this is a real hard ball to hit. I think he's got a three rail kick at it. I don't know. Maybe we can get the overhead. You could show us. Let me okay. see if we can. Don't know if we're going to be able to. Are we? Do I have time? Well, I don't. We don't have the overhead, so we won't be able to demonstrate it. But it's a three cushion hit. But he he looks like he's going to go two. Wow. He has to miss the eight. I like the three railer because that gives you a better chance to pocket the, the two. Oh, he's looking at warping it in short. Okay, that's interesting. If he goes the direction he's standing right now, he's, he's got to... going to three rails. He's got to go low on the cue ball so it really shortens up off that first rail. What a nice hit. What a shot. That's world-class pool right there. Good hit. I'm sure that he will get penalized for a position error, but uh, that, that seems just a bit harsh on my grading scale. He made a great attempt. Yeah, that really was something else. A nice open distribution of the balls for the Iceman. Uh-oh. Yeah, Kachunk. I don't know if he's got a shot. Well, he's got a pin cut to the right hand of his. Yeah. That's what he has, a thin cut. He'll back cut this ball with a little bit of right hand English, come around three cushions and attack right at the nine ball or the five ball here. Things can happen. Things can go wrong. That's what can go wrong. You could miss. Right at the nine. And he didn't get away with it. No. That was what I was trying to uh, allude to earlier, was that sometimes his position routes are not ideal, you know, and he relies on shot making quite often, but this can, this is when, when you have to rely on shot making, the, naturally the, you can miss balls. Well, he did have a shot at the four if it went, but it didn't. Where are you going, cue ball? It's going perfect. <laughs> no, I don't think he's got the four. I think he's semi-snookered, is he? No, he's straight in. You think he's okay? I do. All right. Good speed. He has the seven in the side pocket next. One thing I've noticed over the days of this five by 10 table is that the players use the side pockets just a little bit more uh, liberally than they do on a four and a half by nine. A lot of times on a four and a half by nine, the side pocket can lead to trouble here. It seems like the side pockets get you out of trouble. Well, he's going to go two rails now to the nine. Only because the third rail doesn't count? Right. The two rails <laughs> is the path you want. And like I always say, the third rail doesn't count. See why? No, I'm going to take your word for it. 
It's just a little funny. He'd rather the cue ball didn't lay right on the rail here. Oh, he won't. He'll bounce off. No, he didn't. I thought he could hit it higher and bounce off. This is not a gimme. Yeah, you don't want to go this far now and miss this. Right. Good and it's point. very missable. Yesterday in his match, he took a lot of time on a 10 ball like this and absolutely bludgeoned it. Hit it way too hard and ended up lucky into the side four cushions. Oh, boy. Top See how shot. he's changing? See how he raised up here? He should stand up and start over. Oh, boy. <laughs> what a straight <laughs> shot. He's, right. he's ready to play there, Mark. Four to one, and uh, he's got one air on his side, but, man, that was a cruel air that uh, he's made nothing but great shots and played perfect position throughout. Only twice maybe getting in uh, where it looked like the position was going to be iffy, but it worked out perfectly every time. That's why he's leading four to one. Right. Yeah, Superman. Conquering. But you don't know why they call him Superman. I'm trying to hear why. Well, I mean, I think you can see that's how he played these first four racks is like Superman. Does Superman play 10 ball? He does. I guess yeah, so. He's excellent. All right. Eminent, just to the left of the head spot. It's the five and eight ball right behind the one. Now he missed it to break once again. Made the one. Where are you two? A mile away. But a shot. And this is kind of like Mika's specialty back hitting these balls like this. Yeah, but is especially going two rails to the three. He's got a lot of obstructions. No, for sure. It's a monster shot. But he better do something spectacular because it's getting away from him. I always say it. Alternate breaks, you get more than two games behind, you can't join them by running them. Oh, he oh, missed Q. Oh, he missed Q. Uh-oh. That's We're big see trouble. some temperament. The shaft or tip could have a price to pay here. Now he's going to change shafts. We know he was using left-hand English because the cue ball squirted so far to the right that he didn't even hit a ball. Now Superman comes back to the table with a yet another really nice open layout. If you were to able to manage the angles real well here, you really wouldn't have to get in trouble. That being said, the 10-footer has a way of extolling a, a toll on you. Oh, oh, he got a funny angle. He did. He got a little out of line first yeah, shot. Yeah, that's why I think I would have played for the three in the far corner because it gets you to the four easier. Now he's got work to do, and he might have to go behind the back oh shot. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't like that at all from this angle. Oh, boy. <laughs> you hate to give a game like this right back after just one shot. Good shot. Yeah. All right. Now it's manageable. You know, a player from the past used to play people behind his back. Cornbread red. Good speed. Well, he just seems like he's in really good control of this table today. Now he fell a little straight here. Well, he can draw the ball. And just avoid the side pocket. Well, he can draw the ball and play the, the seven in the furthest corner pocket rather than the nearest like in this fashion. Good call, Mark. And look how good he's hitting these balls and confident. He, made, he didn't take any time making up his mind what was the right shot there. Only time he worries me is when he agonizes on the 10 ball. I remember a kid went up the fence and he asked him if he shot the right shot. And the kid said, I made it. Pat said, it was the right shot. <laughs> yes, we'll just go on results. Good 
Boy, he's playing very confidently. He sees the goal line, Mark. Yeah, he, he could get the five here with this 10 ball. We fully expect him to. Resets himself, wants to make sure that he hits the heart of the pocket here, not just at the pocket. Slow back swing. Solid finish. 5-1 is our score. And thus far, there's really only been one minor blip on Gomez's side of the ledger. If he plays the rest of the match just perfect, I'm going to make an appeal to Pat Fleming to take away that one penalty that he insisted on giving him on that tough position play. Yeah, I don't think he cares about the TPA. The win is real big to him. 4,000, the chance to make 16 in the finals. Playing good. Talking about Cornbread Red, Nick Barner told me a little story about Cornbread Red aggressively going up to a guy in a bar saying, what's your best game? And the guy punched him and knocked him no, down. No, the guy said fighting and knocked Red down. And Red got up and said, what's your second best game? <laughs> there it is. 976, he's pocketed 41 balls and made one error. One very minor error. Gomez up on his fingertips. It's the five and seven right behind the one. Oh, good square, powerful hit. Didn't see if anything went in. They exploded so much. To get the there. four did. Does he have a shot? The two kind of hung up. Yeah, it I looks like he has a shot. He I does. He has the combination, and I don't think the one's going to go oh. anywhere. Well, he's looking, he's got his eyes down. He, he may have to go rail first is a bad thing here, Danny. Well, he's gonna measure oh, it up. I think he's gonna hit it straight on. You were right. Yeah, but he couldn't, he didn't hit the two full or he would have controlled the one. Now he's got a little trick. And but it, he'll have position if he makes it. He made a great shot and I just don't think that he had any more of the ball that he could have hit to hit it for. Well, he's going to have to be a shot maker now if he's going to get out from here. Yeah. He'll get rewarded if he makes it. He didn't make it. No. <clears throat> Truly, he should have stood back up because he changed his mind while he was down. Yeah, he didn't feel good about that. And I also thought that he was only measuring rather than getting ready to shoot. The bad thing about this is now you give Mika a chance to get back at the table with an unforced error. He should have made him earn this opportunity. Where are you going? Oh, oh boy. He Mika. went to the other corner. There's no way Mika was going there. He's looking into the crowd. He's not sure who to blame this on. He just knows it wasn't. <laughs> he knows it wasn't himself. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Boy, Mark, you're brutal. <laughs> well, honest. Yeah. He's waving his hands. Apparently, right. it doesn't go by the tent. Right. No. Evidently, it was the table. Well, with an easy layout, he's going to have to play safe, I believe. Which he did. Oh, good decision. Good, good execution. One. Yes. All right. That's world class. Don't make, don't compound an error with yet a bad You're shot right. forcing yourself. It's not there. And yeah. I really think that Gomez should have played this same type of a shot rather than an open miss because he missed it by a couple ball widths. It wasn't even close. He, he shot that like he was hoping to make it rather than he thought he was going to make it. Well, now he better think he's going to hit it. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, he just missed it. So Mika gets another chance. A, a good reward for a real heady safety play. After a mistake. That's a champion's thinking. Yeah. Like you said, you made a mistake, don't make another one. Yeah, don't make one bad shot and follow it up with a second one.
Well, it's six to the seven. It's going to be a little tricky. Oh, he got the wrong angle, I believe. Yeah, he's going to be drawing it at the seven. Or real near the seven, anyway. Or the pocket. Okay. Oh, good recovery. That, that go gorgeous. Even picked up a little bit of an angle to get back down table. Key here, don't come up short. Whatever you do, he didn't. This play's good. Well, not real good. No, you're right, <laughs> but he's got to cut it in the side and go one rail to the nine. That's sitting there. Been hit, but good control, and he did it. Okay, it wasn't as bad as maybe I thought it was from up here. He made that look pretty smooth and pretty easy. Especially after he executed it and got there, we could say how good it was. <laughs> Mika has a very nice compact swing. Gives him great repeatability. This will be his second win. He down trails two games to five. Well, playing that safe after he didn't get position was pretty heady. Now what's he doing? He's, nope. Yep, he's dissatisfied with something here. Not sure what. It certainly isn't the equipment, though. We've watched this for four days. The Perfect table's equipment. Played tremendous. Hasn't rolled off. It's a one-piece slate, ten-foot table. The rail response, the cloth response, been super quick, very consistent. Well, he said something to uh, <laughs> Kenny, the referee. I don't know what it was. I'd like to know it all. All right, just left of the head spot. Four and eight ball behind the head ball. Did something go in? Didn't see it if it did. I don't think so. I think it was dry. Well, I don't see Gomez make Yeah, here he comes. He might have rail first here. Looks like he'd have to mass A to get it. But how do you get to the two? Uh, yeah, that's, well, it's, you're not going to get to the two if you have to half mass A to get there. No, I don't think he has to. He's got oh. the rail, but it's going to go at the three to cue ball. Well, yeah, he does. That's where he's going. Cue ball's pinned to the back rail. Oh, he overcut the ball. And hit the three, as you suggested, and wouldn't they even come close for position? Where are you going, cue ball? It's not going good, Mark. Doesn't have a great shot to pocket it. Mm -mm. Position is tough. He's going to play safe. Mm. Oh, he should have played safe. <laughs> he went in the pocket. Gomez is going to get a reward after missing. Mika kicks his foot, slaps the table, puts his tip on the cloth. Yeah, he's mad <laughs> about that. <laughs> he gets so emotional. He's the he's one a... who did it. Be mad at yourself, not the cue or the table. I think it's mainly a way to just kind of blow off a little anxiety. <laughs> I don't think it. I don't think he really means it, you know, because he knows Boy, the scratch he, is there. Mark, <laughs> yes. I got to say you're fickle. No, I'm just I'm trying to say what it, what he does is just like a, a def, to diffuse the situation and I don't think well you never know what he's really going to go through his head if he really is believing all these gestures he's making couldn't imagine it though he seems like too rational of a man 
that scratch has always been there. Danny, you and I have both yes, made a scratch has. from there. That's what we say when we want to irritate our opponent. Doesn't have to scratch, but it does quite often when you cut that ball in thin like that and the cue ball comes out of there hot. Watch out. Yeah, you overhit this one just a little. Not bad. Well, he's going to have to hit another rail, but no problem. Yeah, I wouldn't have put any English on that, just so you don't have to worry about getting on the cushion. But he shoots good off the cushion. Oh, I got him. He shoots real good off the cushion. Boy, that's, you can't get those games back. You're leading five to two, don't let it get away. He's got a cut at the 10. He's got to feel fortunate he got back at the table with a chance to win. This is not a gimme, but he, oh, no, no. No, he's admonishing the crowd. Someone was not paying attention. Oh, this poor guy in the crowd. He was sitting four rows back. but Now he feels guilty. If Mika misses this, he's going to just want to get up and leave. Ah, but Mika made it. Okay. Pumps his fist. He's delighted. Gomez cannot let this play on his mind that he gave that game away. And that was inexcusable to give that one away. And, you know, it just seems like Two out of three times we've seen him kind of agonize on the 10 ball. Every time the backswing gets quick, he jams at it, and it just has not worked out. He did make that one that we saw him adjust his cue and elevate and pop it in the center of the and pocket. And that cue you know. ball was frozen on the rail. Yeah. Here he had a little breathing room. But nevertheless, he missed. Can't get that back, Gomez. You got to forget about that any. And get back to playing how he did the first five racks here when he breezed right on out. Good news is it's Gomez's break. He can generate a little something from here. Very interesting. He elevates his cue up on his fingertips, and then when he catches his good break, he gets back flat. The cue ball's not hopping when it leaves the one ball, so you know he gets it back flat. That was hopping there. Wow. Yeah, I was going to say that right after you said it. He ramped up it the power on that. that. Time. Now, is he in the mood to bank? The bank has a reward attached, right. but it's not If up. he can bank it, position is automatic. And the eight might help a little bit, so that might embolden him further. He's smiling, laughing. And you definitely know he wants to get a quick game back to make up for that 10 ball he just gave away. It's not an on-angle bank, though. This is uh, far more makeable on a 9-footer than a uh, 10-footer. Probably another 10 or 15% more difficulty to this shot. Good hit. The good thing about that, mentally you know you're going to get position if you make it. That helps the bank be a little better to pocket. Yeah, you shouldn't play it if you don't know you're going to win with it. You have to believe if I make this ball, I'm going to win this rack. Yeah, look at the combination. Tough to miss the 3-4. Just get where you can control the 3 and the cue ball. Now, well, he's going to lose the cue ball a little bit. Would have liked to got exactly straight in. He's going to have work to do, Mark. Yeah, I'm not sure how he's going to control the three or what's the cue ball, what he's going to do. Is he just rolling? Yeah, just rolling it. Well, that's not real good. We're going to find out. I think it goes. I think he's got it. I think he's got a pocket. I think, he, yeah, I think 
just you got to keep the nine and the five out of your sight line and just go for right for the heart of the pocket. I think he's okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. Good shot. Eight's near the side pocket, so that's not a problem. He was able to just stop it. Now he can just follow ahead. See, he's picking up his good pace here. Good speed. Well, don't get on the cushion now with the cue ball, because <laughs> that just got you. And I think, just don't <laughs> agonize when you get to the 10. Just go down, make your two strokes, and hit this ball. Well, a good way to respond to a poorly played rack is to come right back with your third break and run out of the match. Put yourself three games in front, 6-3. Smiling, he's feeling good about it. You know, you even if he was well behind, this would be the same look that he would present. You're right. Yeah. You will never know. He plays his heart out, and whatever happens, happens. That's how Efren was. Yeah, admirable. Good break there. Six ball did not find the pocket, but the seven kissed in off it. And he snuckered. Uh-oh. I feel sorry for the uh, circumstances really? here. I do because it's not going to be a push-out circumstance. The one's right over the pocket. Mika's going to have to try to warp this around one rail. I, I see where he's at. I don't know if we can get the overhead, but if we can. Well, here we go. I think he's going here with a little bit of inside and low and come down here to play the one in this fashion, Danny. That's what I think he's going to ultimately choose. He's looking at going side rail. Tough to get position that way. Well, at this point, you just have to hit it. Yeah, this is not an easy, it's not a natural kick, so you have to manufacture the angle either way you go. He's got to put a little reverse on it to straighten it out because the natural one rail angle isn't there. Which he is pushing. pushing, yeah. Hey, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Yeah, he said, well, let him work. He's got a hanger, but let him work to get to the next ball. If you hit it perfect and go rail first, you can get back down for the two, but that's the only way. And you can also hang this up if you get a little too deep. And you could scratch off the eight. Well, no problem with any of that. He snookered, but he had to shoot it. Now, this is the exchange is probably going to dictate the outcome of the game. Mika can get through this inning. He's going to have a real chance. If he leaves a good shot, probably not going to win. No, not too good. He left a good angle to get to the three. The four is right there. No problem getting position here. Got a perfect one rail angle to get to the four. Watch out. Foul and everything. That was pretty smooth. Great. He's got the proper angle to get to the six. He Stood looked up like pretty he quickly. <laughs> yeah. He scared me with his body English there. The
in snooker, when you hear the commentators talk, they always say, oh, he's twitching. <laughs> oh, they got a lot of different <laughs> He's phrases. twitching. Like electricity shot through his body or something. Does feel that way when you're playing, too. Oh, he killed that perfectly. No English. That's why he went perfect here. <laughs> Don't he take too long. Don't take too long. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> something's wrong with the shaft. He doesn't feel comfortable about the shaft. Now he's going to get the extension. He collects the 10 ball, moves his lead out 7-3. to three. Four games is a big lead. It is. Playing 9.07 on this TPA. Him in the 8.62, a very respectable 8.62. Tough conditions. On a four and a half by nine, we consider 850 Pro 900 World Class. On the five by 10, it's more like 870 World Class and maybe 830 for pros. <clears throat> It will be Gomez's break. There it is on the screen. 68 balls pocketed, seven errors for Gomez. 25 balls pocketed, only four errors for Eminem. On his fingertips, boy, he really had an effective break last time, Danny. Love he to, sure did. Love to recreate that one. It's the four and the six right behind the one. Not bad. Four ball Made found the ball. pocket. Seven ball found the pocket. And is he going to get a shot? Might find it too. No, he's hanging. And this is an odd arrangement. The one and the cue ball are almost straight in perfectly. This the is two that, is not far away. No, this is that double hit scenario. You have to be careful. Well, Kenny's got to come close. Watch it. Oh, perfect. Good shot. Yeah, well done. Then drew the cue ball over now. Controlling the two ball here. That's going to be the only issue. Well, not the only issue because he could miss it, but we, but roll we don't it, expect roll it. it. Roll it. Don't hit it hard. Good shot. He shot it hard. <laughs> no, that wasn't hard. Okay. You call that hard? Well, I didn't think it was rolling it, but anyway. He handled it. He's got a shot. Now the layout looks great. Yeah, he's feeling real good. He can get five games ahead. Pretty good position. Real good. Yeah. Roll this in. He's going to just stun it over a little bit. Uh, not quite as much as he wanted, but this oh, is he's all. Fine. Well, I understand that. I'm just saying he, he wouldn't have minded going another couple inches. But. Yeah, he would have liked to get straight in. He's going to play it in the corner. <laughs> yeah, he knows he was a little sloppy there. Got a little angle there. He's going to try to go across or just stay? No, he'll draw the ball a little. He's in the Good stay. shot. Superman with his fourth break and run out of the match. It's pretty big. 8-3 is our lead now. Big lead. That's why Eminem's uh, TPA is high because four times he didn't even shoot in these games. Four of his losses. Now 
know, Mika cannot even think about the score. He just needs to think about making a good break here. Cue ball's gotten away from him a couple times. When he has his good game, he's got the good break, just like Gomez. The seven and eight, right behind the one. Seven found the side pocket. The one ball's coming up like he's gonna get a shot. And this time he did. He points out that the six and the nine, he wants to show everybody what's happened here. Actually is terrible. Yeah, that's the only problem. Six and the nine. It's not going to be easy to work through because the five is a long way from the six. You know, and this, another problem? He's five games behind. <laughs> yeah. We understand that part of it. We may end up having to play safe on the six. I don't think so. No? You think he'll go aggressively at it off the three? Well, I don't think so with the ten. in the way of that. Right, so... So, but yet you got to open that up if you want to get out here. I guess you could get the end rail with the cue ball from the four near the five, and then you could attack it that way off the side cushion. But yeah, this is not going to be easy, this circumstance. I don't know if we can get the overhead real quick, but. I think he needs to try to get the cue ball right down here on the five ball. He's got the angle to get there. That way he can be close to the five and give himself a pretty good uh, chance at control. Not likely to hook himself from that shot. Now why is he looking up and what is he pondering? He played for this. Mika, you could look at it forever. It's not going to change. That's where I thought it, he's measuring up where I thought that that's what he was trying to get to. Oh, don't get straight. No, I think he's okay. Yeah, he's got an angle. Don't snooker yourself. That's the main thing. You could always play safe off the ball. But don't snooker yourself or you got to kick it. Do you want to go one rail and hit it? Mm -hmm. Something good going to happen there? Well, that's what he played for, and that's what I suggested well, before that, that I thought was the best route because you can still play safe from there if you don't, just so you don't hook yourself. Nope. He was going to play it in the corner. Oh, what a good shot. Wow. What, what a, a good shot. shot. Yeah, that deserves a round Come of applause on, there. Yeah. Applaud. Remember, that Tom was a, Coswell used to say, applaud, you won't make dust. <laughs> well, you know what? Um, that was a much better approach than trying to break it out. Yeah, he made a good shot. But don't miss now. Don't miss. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he overcame this. Yeah, he's put together a Herculean effort to get out. Herculean against Superman. <laughs> Great breaking run out there for the Iceman. 8-4 is our score. Very pretty. Breaking it out, you don't have a, any assurance of having a good shot. The way he played it, it was very hard to not get some type of a shot. Yeah, he played a solid rack there. Just a little something to let Gomez know that uh, he's still here and you better continue to play real good because I'm not leaving. Q 
cue ball got away, Danny. No right good. straight in the side. Yeah, straight. right straight in the side, and that's always the breaker's fault. It, yeah, it is. And like you've been saying, whatever you do, don't don't go in the pocket on the break, because with these players, you could forget this game. Look at the way they're open. Yeah, that's an unforced error. Eminem now has requested a short player timeout. Everybody, we're back. Eminem comes to the table, ball in hand, trailing 8-4. to four, But having a little bit of momentum going his way. Just ran out of a really super break and run out. And then Gomez scratched on the break, and here we are. I don't see any problems here. Except the score. Quality shot. Always with ball in hand. You, when you look at a layout like this, it, they're not super tricky, but on the other hand, you want to maximize utility of ball in hand and make sure you get the first three off and then you'll play and, and see what you can do with the remaining balls. If you get overwhelmed thinking about all eight balls on the table, then sometimes you get confused and try to do too much. What's going to happen here? I don't think he fell exactly he the way he good. wanted. No, I would say he didn't. He's got to play the ball to the left-hand corner, which means he's got to play some good position also. Have to use and at least this a, is missable. At least some power. Oh, good everything. Oh, and he's got the position now to stop and shoot the seven in the side. Don't change your TV channel, folks. This match is not over. Well, he went a little bit further than he wanted. Got on the 50 yard line again. This will be a pretty shot now. Position is tough. He, he knows that he didn't get great on this. It'll either be three rails around, which is what I likely think, or it'll be the the warp two cushion side right. rail, I side like rail. That. I like that too, with a little reverse. Go two rails and sleep in the street. Oh boy. Yeah, you didn't get around an easy rack. You know, you're supposed to not have anything tricky, and he got tricky. Well, that's the curse of the five by 10. It's quite a bit harder. I really think he kind of played himself into that mentally, though, because he kind of agonized. He was disappointed, and then he took a little negativity to the nine ball. And he just kind of hacked it over there towards the corner. What does Gomez do here, Mark? Shoot well, the ball and go at the 10? He's doing just what he's been doing when he misses, and uh, that's agonizing. It's not like it's a surprise what this shot is. We play it every day. You roll it in, and you make the 10. We play it every day. We do. <laughs> do well, if we you make play pool, it every day. No. Well, there's there's nothing foolproof about it, but there's nothing. You go right at the ten here. Yeah, and then do what you have to do thereafter, but just make don't this ball. Don't miss the ball. It's almost like he wants to play safe here, or he oh, wants to I do don't so. Think so. No, I'm saying, why are you yeah. agonizing? What are you thinking about right. then? Shoot the ball in, which he did. Where you're going, cue ball in the pocket. I don't understand that position. Do you? No, he did not want to play it the way it needed to be played, so now he'll have to play uh, This match this. is not over. 
Oh, totally gave that rack away. 8-5 is our score. Now Gomez has really fell down these last three games. He's got to forget those innings. He broke and ran to get on eight, and then um, let's see what did he do this this game. He scratched, scratched on the night. He didn't play good position. He flew around. I like just rolling at it at the ten. You want to get rewarded if you make it. He found the bottom of the pocket. Of course, it's easy for us. All right. Well, the Iceman has to feel a little resurgent now. He's getting a couple games and seeing his opponents gotten a little bit weak. Four in the side. A lot of ball action here. Looks like he's going to get a shot. He did. Yeah, he can make this hurt. Two's hanging right by the three. One, two, and three all on the end rail. Five, not too bad. Seven over the side. Six. No, he's supposed to get out. Through the first six wrecks, Gomez played nearly flawless. Then he fell off a little bit. Then he collected a couple games, kind of got back into it. Now he's played about three games in a row. Not very well. Got to forget those games. Even though he's not old, I got to call Mika a veteran. He knows what to do, and he can handle the pressure for sure. Yeah, very experienced. He's a veteran, member of the Billiards Hall of Fame. Got a good angle here. Why is he shaking his head? He got good on this. <laughs> yeah, draw it. Yeah. Where are you going? Oh, he got on the cushion. Oh, mm -hmm. man, this is treacherous. <laughs> this is treacherous, Mark. Oh, this is missable. Not for him. Wow. That was a pretty good shot. And with that good shot on the 10, we have a match. 8 6, coming in behind. Eight eighty nine for Gomez, eight ninety seven for Eminem. Gomez has made more mistakes. Here's our rack track. They traded the opening racks with breaker runouts, and then Gomez went on a little four rack spree. Lost two, won three. Now Eminem is one three. Two games separate the score. Gomez needs to get back on his good break here. Pretty good break. 
A lot of ball action, unless the four ball finds the pocket, though. Four found the pocket. Okay. But he doesn't have a good shot on the one. No, but he has first chance to uh, manipulate the balls, and that's that's definitely worth a lot. That was he's aiming the point where he wants to shoot the cue ball off the one. Yeah, I don't know. If it, was he acting like the one ball goes in the corner straight? It's hard to tell well, from here. he was trying to see the path the cue ball is going to take. Right. I, th I think it does go. Yeah, the way he lined it up, I think you're right. I think he is playing the one. Yeah, it would definitely go. Good shot. He got good on the two also, I believe. Yeah, in the corner. Wow. It was a big shot there. Pretty good. Yeah, now the rack is kind of at his mercy. Eminem's going to have to rely on an unforced air to get back into this rack. We weren't sure that the one ball went, but then his body language told us that uh, he felt confident that it went, and it did. It went in freely. Ooh, he bobbled that one. Yeah, that messes up your ball speed, just a hint. Gomez definitely... Uh, you can see some adrenaline coursing through his a body. A little more work. Got to hit more rails now to go from the five to the six. Two rails. No one rail. But this is a little thinner than he wanted. But I think he'll go three rails to the seven in the side now. I don't think so. I do. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, he's going three rails to the seven in the side. No, you were right. He went one rail, and that was a good shot. I like three rails on that. Yeah, as long as you get to this place, it's all good. Either way. Yeah, he's got a good chance to... Boy, he does now. It's completely at his mercy. He made a good shot to get a position on that seven to make the rest of the rack play so routine. Oh, perfect. This is one of my favorite shots. This would be his fifth break and run out of the match here, Danny. How are you going to stop that? You're not. Very good shot there. Gomez takes back a game, leads nine to six. Yeah, Mika's got to beat him five to one now. I think Gomez needed that little jolt of momentum too because things are starting to kind of slip away from him. It's Gomez now just uh, falls on exactly 900 TPA. 897 for Eminem. These were the same two TPAs when Gorst beat Peggy Lyon the other day, 11 to 9. Rack 16, Eagle breaks, Roto Leagues 9 6. Eight ball found the side pocket. One ball's drifting back by the corner. If it it's hangs up. In. Yeah, no, if it hangs up, that's oh, better. Beautiful. Look at this layout. Couple balls hanging. Good start. Well now Gomez is gonna have to hope for an unforced error, and it's gonna be hard to come by with this distribution of balls. Well the two to the three might get him, or the three to the something. Hanging. Is the three to the four? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't see anything getting him. No, I don't either. The four is down by the five. The six is right over the side pocket. The seven and nine are open table.
Good speed, good shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he made that happen. He had to hit the right thickness with the right speed. Eminem takes a look at it, sees if he wants to go forward or backward. Looks like he's going forward two cushions. Pretty good control here. Have to get his extension, I believe. Yep. And 9 7 0 score as Eminem breaks and runs out for the second time in this match. And it's not over till the skinny man say, No, it's the fat. What? Oh, I got it wrong. The fat lady. I got it mixed up, but I was close. It's the end of an opera, Rusty Burton informed us. Shane Van Boning comes and settles in ringside to watch the end of this match. Really miss looking down below in the VIP row and seeing now Metzinger sitting there. I know, I do too. My good friend, a good man. You and him came together a few times, did you not, Danny? A lot, yeah. Yeah. We went to a few things together, especially the racetrack. <laughs> he loved the races. I'm talking like he's dead. He's not dead. He's pretty depressed. Is he? Yeah. Well, if he's listening in now, we miss you and hope you get back down here and visit us again. He liked to bet on the women jockeys. Oh. All right. Well, Gomez leading and breaking. It's the five and the six right behind the head ball. See anything go in except a lot of ball action. He snuckered the one. Might be facing a push out situation. Has a question though, Danny. What, uh, female jockeys, what is, what's the deal on that? Anything or just he just like? We have it? a bunch of them at Port Erie and they're all good. Huh. is looking at pushing out. Extension. Push, push out. He's now uses 40-second extension. Uses a nine ball to kind of block direct access to the Pocket with the three. I got to give it back. Let him figure out the safe. And that's what he did. I 
if he tries to go one rail towards the uh, behind the five, I think he's got a kiss. Get it? <laughs> oh, Kept but calm. he's making it. Hard to fool Danny where the kiss is. He knew it's it was going to be close. Always. You know, some people say sometimes you kiss, sometimes you don't. That's not true. Well, that was not strong. No, he might build your detented. Well, no, it's not laying for that. But uh, it's not. No, that would be suicidal. The, uh, but he has control. He's going to be able to control this two ball quite handily. He's got a multitude of choices. Offense is probably not one. But defense, definitely, he's going to have the upper hand in this deal. Did he freeze him? Oh, boy. Good shot. Yeah. Only I learned from Buddy Hall, when you're playing players and you snooker them, don't put the object ball near a pocket or they're going to break your heart a lot. No, that's true. He was just trying to make sure he took care of the cue ball there and the two ball inadvertently did get a little closer in the side pocket than he wanted. He might make this. Well, he might. I thought so. That's what Buddy Hall said. Don't feel bad. You made a mistake, even though it's extreme. Oh, we're going to see some safeties. Oh, look at that. Oh, he butchered boy. it again. That's two bad shots. Well, at least he didn't sell out a, a, a ball you can make. Right. He's still going to have to out-safe him. He's going to end up yet again with the disadvantage in the ball distribution, though. That's the problem with this. Control the table. Good shot. I don't oh, know. No, I don't think so. Yeah. yeah I would have hit a 10 and gone two rails, maybe behind the five. <laughs> Gomez got sloppy there. That was inexcusable. Boy. This match can get close. If he pops this in and runs out. Oh, he almost made the 10. Look oh, at he that. Didn't get... And position. That's a very good shot. Yeah. Another good shot. I don't know. Oh, it's <laughs> a little thin, but he's got a shot at it. You know, he's going to be shooting it. Oh, yeah. And I think he's got a pretty decent route to get position here. No, oh, he had to go all the way down table. Good enough. It's a mile away, but good enough. You're going to get rewarded if you pocket it. Make it no pause, just let it rip. Let the big dog eat. Got the cue ball back just perfect. It looks like stop, stop, stop now. Yeah, it's a very common last four balls, that's for sure. This game's going to get ever so close. Mika wins this, it will be nine to eight. And it's just that, 98 is our score. Mika has to feel good. He's in the match. Well, he has to feel fantastic. He was getting absolutely annihilated early. He didn't play bad. Gomez just played so good, he didn't have a chance to assert himself. Look, he's got 
a, a TPA that's better than Gomez, yet he's behind one, which is rare. Yeah, thus far in the tournament, the uh, higher TPA won every match except for one. El Gomez knows he's in a battle. Very square hit. Ball went to the side. There oh, comes the six. To one. He's going to get position. Three balls on oh, the break. <laughs> he's pretty straight on this one. Yeah, he's oh, real he'll straight. Oh, something out. Well, anyway, he's very straight on the one. The three and the ten are on the far end of the table. And that's that's the best chance that uh, Gomez has here. Is he stumbles on the three. Yeah, he's dead straight in. Powering up and cheating the 5 by 10 pocket is definitely not the answer. Well, he's going to try to do that, but it's going to be tough. Looks like he was maybe measuring that little bounce shot up on top of the rail. I don't think that's the way it is. Well, maybe so. Oh, that was a good shot. Really was. How can he avoid hitting the tent? Well, he got a lot out of it for how straight he was. Slightly over the four. That does not help matters any. If he misses the 10, he'll hit the seven. What a nice no, shot that perfect. was. And that right. deserves a round of applause there. That was not an easy task. Good hit. Well, he didn't need to hit the five, but it didn't hurt him much. Just going to hurt the position a little tougher. One rail. Boy, he hits that shot good. Very confident. Well, starting to look like Hill Hill. Well, you go forward here. I like that because I, it takes the side pocket scratch away. That's what he did. Good speed, too. Perfect. Yeah, perfect position. We're looking at 9-9 nine, nine now. Barring a catastrophe. 9-9. Nine, nine. Gomez knows he's in a battle, too. Look at those TPAs. Eminem now at 921. That remarkable. Gomez, 882. That was Eminem's third break and run out of the match. At a most opportune time. to race to two, Danny. And I was just looking at the crowd. We got a, a good crowd we do. for the finals yeah. coming we, up. We really do. As well, semifinal number two and then the finals tonight. Gomez on his fingertips. It's the four and the six ball right behind the one.
cue ball right in the oh, drain. Oh, forget it. Yeah, doom. What a bad time to scratch. It's just the, the morale oh, defeating the, the two. The two tied up a little. Yeah. That's Gomez's only... Salvation. Yeah. With but ball you the... don't go in the pocket. No. I take something off the break to make sure of that. With ball in hand here, I think Mika can shoot the one into the two, seven, and stick the cue ball in the five, dislodge everything. Yeah, he could. That's what he should do. He knows that too, Mark. Oh, beautiful shot. Boy. That, uh, I call that a crippling blow. <laughs> now Gomez is reduced to uh, kicking it in a most distasteful fashion and hoping to not sell out. Very hard to get separation here. He kicks side rail to side rail. That was a good call, Mark. I think, I think, uh, Mika knows as much as you. Well. He, I just said that. Yeah, he recognized it right away. He wasted no time. Tough hit here. It is. Any diagonal kick. Look at that hit. He, yeah. He got pace on there. Yeah, but he's going to sell out. He is, but I mean, that's just, he did what he could but do. That's, that's all you can do. No. Hit and hope. Yeah, well, hit it. He got some power on there. Something good could have happened. He could have flicked the eight ball in. Or maybe it would have arranged itself awkwardly. Mika Eminen now. Well, position's not automatic here. Mika's taking the second break. I think you could. I thought you only got one per match. Nevertheless, the players are on break. Well, position on the two is the whole game here. I don't think he could roll it. Yes, he could. Wow, that's gutsy. Now the five kind of got introduced into the picture here just a little bit. This is just a little hint awkward. Yep. No, it's not too bad. I was thinking it was a no, little worse than this. Oh, he got good Yeah, here. he did. Very straight shot. Looks like he's got just enough angle to go to the four. Well, Mika's got a powerful stroke. He just punches that cue ball around, and that ball hits the pocket so pure. It's pretty to watch. He's a great player, especially under pressure, and there's certainly pressure here. He won back-to-back -back U.S. Opens. One of them, he came from way behind with one loss. Got a little angle here. I think we'll see him go top spin. Come across the table to play the seven. Good call. Uh, That's what he did. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. He can get to the eight easily. It's not frozen to the rail. Might need a hair right hand English to assure it, but I'm sure he'll handle that. I think downward on the ball. It's oh, he said, I'm not going to the rail. I like it. I'm going to avoid the 10 by just coming back, taking the cut. That's wisdom. Yeah, I think that's a much better approach percentage wise. I think you'll get out more times this way than the other way. That's good speed. Perfect angle to get to the 10. Boy, he laid that in there nice, Danny. And if he is feeling nervous, it's not shown at all in this oh, round. Oh, not at all. Right. He's going to get on the hill first. Would have been an hour ago we wouldn't have said that. No. We were thinking it could easily be a runaway. Very nice out there. Well played game. Right away, Eminem sized up the two ball was a problem. Took ball in hand. Opened up the two, forced Gomez to make a great kick shot, which he kicked and hit, but then left, uh, sold out the open rack, and then Eminem stepped to the table, collected all the balls. 
Puts himself on the hill with the break. Gomez right now is hoping for one more chance. Right. Yeah. Eminem has been breaking well. As evidenced by his three breaking runouts in this match. He had six coming into this match for a total of nine. Gomez came in here with six breaking runouts in his first two matches, and he now has five more to add to that. Make a total of 11. World class play on a five by 10. Seven and eight balls. Balls that uh, Mika has been making when he hits the rack square. In the side pocket. Going to make the one for sure. Made the three. Well, are you two? I don't think he's going to have a shot at the two. Yeah, we're going to see a little play in this rack. Does three, he have six, a field eight. goal position on the two? Oh, I didn't look at that. I don't think he does. No. The eight is hanging. This is not an easy place to push out to. And it's not the spot where you could tie up a ball when you push, mm -hmm. which I always recommend. Right, I'm which sure. Which Gorse doesn't know yet. I'm sure Mika would be happy to try to tie something up. He does know that, but it's, like you said, the arrangement of the balls prevent that. This is going to be a hard push out. You're going to have to push out to a kick. No, he's not looking to kick it in one rail, is he? Well, when you look at it, it might not be that bad of an option if he You're feels right. like he can get to the high side of the two because you can bank the two back on the eight if it doesn't go straight in, and the ten ball can get action. Oh, he barely missed it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, Gomez gets his chance that he was hoping for. Although when a guy's on the hill, this is a much tougher run out, right? Yeah, even this opening shot is not easy when you've sat there for quite a while. you got to back cut this quite a bit. And you're real close to it. Soft speed expands the margin of error in the pocket. Slightly elevated, but still missable shot. He yeah. missed it. No, no he, he didn't. didn't. Whew, perfect speed, though. I thought though. he missed it, but if he didn't. any other speed doesn't go in. Now no. he might have to hit rail first and play it off the eight. It's, to, oh, it's no, there's no pocket. Right. It's not an easy shot to come make a combination and control. It's just a little bit thin. Nevertheless, that's what he's got to do. <laughs> yeah. He's got to make the eight on the combination. Yeah, even to the exclusion of position on the four. He's just got to make sure he makes the eight here. You don't want to be missing the eight, trying to be cute and controlling the four. Yep, you know, play the combination. Take whatever you get on the four. Yeah. And he did that, and he took whatever he could. Right. Still going to not have a good angle to get to the five now. No, you got to be a shot maker from here on in. Gutsy shot would be to shoot the four and draw it one rail, but that makes the shot much tougher. I think he should just roll ahead. And take, take the cut. You're right. right. The balls are all down at that end of the table, so you don't have to go anywhere. Oh, he's drawing. I do not I object. Oh, yeah, this is missable. Oh, oh what a good what shot. What a shot. What, what a, a shot. Good shot. Ooh, he People stayed. love that. He stayed down and got through that ball when he really needed to. And, and the position the rest of the way is pretty easy. Oh, 
All right. We're looking at Hill Hill, folks. Sweater's delight. If he would have showed some of that same courage on a couple of those 10 balls, we wouldn't be here right now, you know, yeah, Danny? Yeah, but that's past. <laughs> He's going to show it now. I'm just teasing. I know and, you and are. And he did. And I am, too. And that was a courageous shot. Excellent shot. I just didn't feel like he was up to it. I thought he was doubting himself, but he didn't. Here in crunch time, his confidence came back. All right, 10 10 is going to be our score. Sweater's delight. <laughs> the commentator's delight, too. Well done. Superman versus Iceman. One last rack for who moves on into the finals. And Gomez has the break by virtue of winning the lag. That's pretty big. Gomez has broken ran five of the racks so far. Well, he needs a sixth one right now. I'm sure the Iceman's sweating it over there uh, because the balls, when when you catch them good, they have been opening up quite nicely and, and producing, you know, re positive results. Well, if Gomez should run out, Mika would, like, have a record of losing with a 931. <laughs> yeah, that'd be brutal on a 10-footer. Rarely happens. We've played 20 so total racks so far. Eight of them have been breaking runouts in this match. This is the final rack. We're to the championship. Losing the third, fourth. Let's show our appreciation for two great teams. All right. Gomez goes over, shakes hands with Eminem. One last rack. It's the four and the five right behind the one. Now, Gomez has dunked the cue ball in the side pocket a couple yeah, times. Yeah, don't do it now. Take something off it, but control the cue ball. Just don't lose by scratching on the break. That's, if it's an ugly kiss that scratches, I can accept that. Straight in the side pocket, unacceptable. Oh, boy. He didn't take anything off. He got he some top spin. He made the one. Where are you, two? Two's down by the cue ball. He's got a shot at it. <laughs> He's got a shot. First shot to win. All right. Oh, look at the way they're sitting, too. I think the four goes by the five. <laughs> if it does, I got to tell you. I think it does, because if he pockets the two, he'll have that angle on the three to get to that four past the five. Um, then it will get pretty easy. But right now, nothing is easy when no. your opponent's on the hill. And this is pretty big money. Good hand camera work there where you can really look right down the shot line. My heart's pounding right here in the booth. I'm sure his is too. Took a moment to grab a bottle of water. Get his mind set for what's before him. The eight's hanging. If he get, like Danny said, if he can get on the four, things are looking fantastic. That's I think now. it passes the five. Yeah, I happen to agree. It all starts with this shot, though. I think it's just a stop shot on the two in the corner. Right. As long as the four goes by the five, you'll have the angle on the three. He's really thinking about it. He's looking at the two into oh, the side. Why would you he, not think about well, it? Well, no, he wants to go in the side pocket here, Danny. This means $4,000. Some people got to work all day for $4,000. Oh, the side. Now watch out here. Oh, does it pass the nine? Oh, he's got the eight combination. Oh, the four goes past the seven, too, so maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Does the three go <laughs> all the way down? I Let's, guess it does. I can see it does. But he might be shooting the eight first. Did he hit it hard enough? Yep. Oh, he got perfect. What a shot that was. Great shot. That cue ball, the three ball only rolled another ball's width after he hit that. Eight ball into the side. Yeah, I don't see any problems either, except don't miss the ball. Boy, this is going to be a heck of an out. Hmm. Did he get too thin? No, no he's fine. No, he's, he's fine. <laughs> Six balls down by the 10. Seven's next to the cue ball right now. Nice speed control there. Oh, yeah, perfect. He was on line the whole way. 
The nine to the ten is no problem. He only needs to draw this back about three feet. He does not want to go to the side rail. Now he's going to go four feet. And that's even better. Perfect. Wow. That is good. That is he's good got position. To draw it now. Yeah, but it's an easy draw. He can just draw it right back to the rail and bounce out a little bit. Perfect. Gorgeous shot. Oh, Meek is going to lose with 931. I never saw that before. Well. Wow, what a gutsy out. Very much so. This would be his sixth break and run out of the match. And the biggest. Oh, super important. And Superman <laughs> moves into the finals with a great performance there. Uh, you know, he really had to come back. He was down 10-9 and had struggled for quite a while there in the middle of the match. Well, this has been World Class Pool presented by AccuStats, the global leader in billiard programming. Thank you for sitting in and please join us again soon. So long for just a while.